some of the ways to support. One is just listening. Listening without judgment. Let the military member talk and get things off his or her chest regarding what they're dealing with over there. Don't judge. Don't try to step in and solve. Just listen. Uh, having that shoulder is very important uh, for the military member because too often what he or, she, he or she says will be judged or people, <gasps> what occurred? Don't need that. The other is don't take small issues at home and move them forward to the deployed service member. Don't burden him or her with things that can be solved. Solve them. Take charge of it. Resolve the problem and inform the military member, but don't take the burden of decision making and put it on an already stressful situation when they're deployed. Give them updates, but don't give them the work to take, take on abroad. They don't have the tools over there. They don't have the time. They don't have the attention span. And you might not like their decision. And if you don't like it, that brings up another friction point that doesn't need to be resolved. A military member deployed will rely on their spouse at home to take care of the problems, will give that trust and faith there, take it, enjoy it, revel in it. Uh, Remember, though, the next friction point will be when the spouse returns from deployment and may want to take back some of that responsibility. That's always a uh, point of transition where you need to talk about, okay, who handles what? How do we share those responsibilities? Do I give everything back over to you when you come in, or do I retain portions, or do I retain all of it, and you focus on the military career?